What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Big Brother Chris. So I am going to be doing a little review of my Gender Cat prosthetic for y'all this week. I've been asked a ton about reviewing this prosthetic and I've probably had it for over a year. The thing is, is that I didn't end up using it very much and I know some people who really, really love their Gender Cat prosthetics and I just didn't want to deter anyone from, from not using it. <clears throat> That being said, I'm gonna talk about the things I do like about it, um, and then I'll just talk about it in general. So, um, this is a gender cat prosthetic. It's just um, a basic packer. It's not for peeing, it's not for play. Um, this is the medium squishiness, so there's like a super squishy, and then there's like a hard one used for like play and stuff, and this is like the medium one, um, which honestly is like pretty squishy. It's squishier than like my Real Magic Basic Packer, squishier than like my Sailor, um, basic packer from back in the day. Um, it's, I mean, it is like a very, very flaccid dick, which for basic packing is like nice and it feels really good. It's soft, it's very stretchy. It's like the nicest stress ball ever, really. Um, so this, I'm not sure what color this is. I'm so, I'm so sorry about that. Um, they will send you like a bunch of color samples and then you can like, you can even like take them off and put them on your skin and see what you like and then you can choose one and then you can ask for them to put color variation in your prosthetic if you want. Um, so they don't paint their prosthetics, they actually just use different like silicone at the end and like in the balls and stuff and all in like one mold but like a different color one um, so that the paint doesn't fade over time because it's just like different color ones like mixed together which is pretty cool. The only downside of that is in my opinion like it's very very subtle how Diff, like the different colors of the balls and then the tip of the penis. I prefer like a more obvious like very pink tip of the penis and that sort of stuff. I, I would rather it be more dramatic but it is cool that it doesn't come off. That being said that means that the veins are all just one color. It's not gonna have kind of a blue tinge to it the way some other companies do. So the cool thing about Gender Cat is that they they marketed this whole like self-adhesive thing. So has this adhesive on it, it sticks. I mean, it sticks pretty good. Only thing is, I don't find that it sticks very good to like my pubic pelvic region. Um, I don't know if that's because <clears throat> I don't shave completely. I, I trim, it's very, very short hair down there, but it does not stay. I'm not a very sweaty person, but Texas is hot, but I'm not very sweaty. I don't use lotions or anything, and I just find that it peels off of me like within an hour of having it on, which is like the most frustrating part about it because that is the biggest upside of this packer is that you don't have to use a harness with it. You don't have to worry about it as much. It's just like attached to you, right? I think that that might just be me. It might not work with me. I've tried and gotten additional adhesive sheets from them and reinstalled it. It just, I haven't found a way to make it work for me yet. Um, I have friends who have um, prosthetics from Gender Cat and they really love theirs and they say it sticks to them really well, so it could just be me. Um, it could also be that I have like, so they have like a three inch one I think and then this is like the four or five inch one and then there's like a longer one for, for play or for packing or whatever, but so this isn't the smallest one and a few of my friends who really love theirs have the smallest one, um, which they say is like perfect for packing and I think that the smaller it is obviously, it won't weigh as much and it won't be pulling as much tension on that adhesive. So it could also be the fact that this one is heavier because it is a, a little bit larger. That being said, it's not too big to pack. I mean, it looks pretty big, but I mean, when it's all said and done, it's like slightly bigger than my um, Real Magic um, Basic Packer, which I can like show you it compared to that. <laughs> Literally like LOL at the fact that like I have a million dicks in this and then I have like dicks in my bedside drawer. Um, but I'll show y'all it on in a second too. Not like nude or anything, but okay. So like it looks really big, but like this is a real magic basic packer next to it. So like it's very manageable once it's like when you have it on when it's in your boxers, it's like not as like, oh my God, gigantic as it kind of looks. So, um, <clears throat> I think it's a really cool, um, 
think it's a really cool prosthetic. It's run by a trans guy who really, really is like very responsive as far as customer service. It's a really, really cool idea. Um, adhesive just doesn't work great with me. That's one of the things I'm going to talk about in my with my Real Magic review coming up later. Um, I just haven't found a way to make it work and that's just super unfortunate because one of the things that makes me most dysphoric about packing is having to wear a harness or a jock strap or just anything like really strappy I wish that I, you know just stick it and go um, but some people have really found that they like these um, there are things I really do like about it I just don't pack with a basic packer that often and because it comes off I was hoping to be able to wear this guy at the gym and stuff like when I don't want my packer shifting around and I just find myself thinking about it so much because it comes unstuck like it comes unstuck is that the right word it unsticks itself so much so I don't know if maybe I should get the smaller one for like what I want to use this one for like I wish I could like wear it to bed and wear it to the gym and places that like a basic packer would do well enough for me but in my day-to-day -day, I tend to just pack I either pack with a three-in-one that has the capability of being an STP because being able to pee in public in a men's restroom at a urinal is like my number one thing as far as dysphoria and like as far as like what I want a packer to be able to do um, which leads me to almost more often than not just use my EZP which I hate the way this packs but it fucking works so this is what I'm wearing like nine out of ten times especially if I'm going out at night if I don't know what a bar situation is gonna be like if I don't know what a restaurant situation is gonna be like if I'm gonna be outside all day that's usually what I'm packing with but people wanted to see what this one was all about so this is the gender cat um, prosthetic I'm gonna look at exactly how much this guy is hold okay so looking at their site I do think that this is the four inch I don't think that this is the six inch because it like I can only compare it to like maybe yeah I mean like the rogue is five or five and a half so maybe it is the six I don't remember I think it's the four I think I'm not sure but and it might be the super soft because when I'm looking at it their options are super soft semi hard hard or super hard and this feels so soft maybe I got the super soft um, but the thing about Gender Cat is they also, they have multiple options, so you can just build your own, basically, um, from those four different hardnesses, the different links. Um, as far as balls, you can get, like, like regular testicles, or they have, like, a maze balls, which, like, has, like, these, like, floating balls in there, which I don't have, but um, it's kind of similar to something that Real Magic offers. They also offer, like, a fascination sleeve, which is, like, I would consider it kind of like a little mini fleshlight back here. It's like a hole with like texture on it. So like your anatomy can go in there when you um, are using it for play. So lots of options. Base, base they start at 189. So, but, and I think that the pricing for theirs is the same no matter the length, but don't quote me on that. But that's how they were when I first bought them. It did, like it wasn't like a crazy difference based on how big the prosthetic was, which is kind of cool. And when I bought this, I know that they allowed payment plans, but I'm not sure if they still do that. But yeah, this is my review on the Gender Cat so far. I think, I mean, I might just have to try and see if like I completely shave bare if it would work better. Um, I might just have to see if like getting a smaller one would like do what I wanted to do as far as a basic packer. Because for me, I mean, great in theory. Really, honestly, it looks great and like this skin tone might look kind of odd right now like it is a little bit ashier than I am but I mean I've taken like pictures with it and like when this part is covered up like it pretty much blends in really well with um, my skin tone and it looks pretty realistic um, which is cool like for me a realistic packer prosthetic is like 100% important like realism is like the biggest thing I look for and if you look on their site they have some cool pictures um, on each of their listings where you can see what they look like adhered on people which is pretty cool to see um, I'm going to show you all what it looks like in boxers, um, and then that's pretty much all I have for this um, prosthetic review. Okay, so this is the Gender Cat or Gender Mender. I'm not really sure which one they prefer, but Gender Cat is their site. This is what it looks like in boxers. So, like, it looked pretty big in your hands, but, like, super, honestly, realistic bulge, I think. Super manageable. It's very squishy. Easy to pack with. Um, and with tight boxers, you really don't have to worry about it coming unstuck um, because it'll just pack like 
an everyday packer. The thing is, is just that that adhesive, that self adhesive is like what it's like made for. And like, I just put it on and like, I can already feel it unsticking. So I don't know. For me, it just doesn't stick the way it's supposed to. But as far as a basic packer, it's pretty awesome. Um, if you're wanting to spend that much on a packer for just one function, that's another thing about it. Like, it's not like this particular one that's super soft is like just for packing, um, which is another thing. You're gonna be spending a good amount of money more on just a basic packer, but that depends on what you want it to do, um, how you like the look of it, that sort of stuff. Um, it is really, really great to pack with. It is a good basic packer. I think it does the job as far as that goes, um, but it's a bit of a gamble if the adhesive is gonna work for you, um, if it's gonna be any different from any other um, basic packer you might order out. Uh, that might be cheaper because if that adhesive doesn't work for you, then it's kind of just like any other thing. Um, but I think they're worth checking out. I really like it um, for what it's worth. I think that it just doesn't really work with my body that great. I think for some people, it really does work. The people that I know who love theirs really, really love theirs. So um, teach their own, you know. Um, everyone has a different dick. Uh, I think every trans guy, every person that packs has a different uh, prosthetic preference. So. Um, Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm sorry it took so long to make this video about this gender cat packer. I was just kind of up in the air about how I could talk about it. I really didn't want to like give a negative review to something that I think has like such a good idea. Um, but I, I think that I gave a good both sides. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in y'all. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about it. If I didn't answer anything, I'll try to answer them in the comments. And let me know if there's any other videos you do want to see. I have more uh, dicks, all sorts of dicks in this box that I need to review for y'all. Just um, in case you're curious about one out there before you buy it, I probably already bought it. So um, I'll let y'all know what I think. And I'll be, keep coming at you with more videos. I'll try to be more consistent. I know I say that all the time. But uh, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe. Um, and until next time, uh, have a good one and I'll see ya.